How we doing? It's Mailman Nick. Follow me on Instagram at Nick Venti. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up. Don't treat me like a 204B over here. So I want to give you guys an update because every Sunday is my day off. I'm basically having Sundays off every week now. So it's Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday. Then I'm off Sunday. So every Sunday I can find five minutes to make a video update. Um, so I've been working a lot. I've been dealing with selling and, uh, you know, trying to get my house up for sale and uh you know it's a lot of a lot involved a lot of stress and um also getting all my stuff right with as far as my health and my dental my vision all that stuff i'm taking care of um so i've been i've been busy uh first with work i'm i'm, I'm on a i'm on a long term hold down and i kind of uh got screwed over a little bit with that and so so the thing with that is basically uh I was on a I was on a hold down for two weeks for vacation, right? The guy the carrier was on vacation. He came back a week early, so that bumped me. So I didn't want to be in the other town we deliver in or in the hills. So uh my my supervisor recommended I put a hold down on City 18 and I'm like, okay, she she called off for two weeks, I'll be on that route. So uh, apparently she's going to be out longer than that. So, uh, it's a 22, it, there's two school drop-offs and then it's 22 relays. So I thought it was only going to be for two weeks. So it might, it's probably going to be longer than that. And I would have rather have been on easy routes every week rather than being on this long-term hold down. Even though I'll be doing the same thing every day, I'd rather do easier routes than this one. It's not a terrible route. It's not a terrible route, but, uh, you know, now I'm stuck on it for the foreseeable future. So, uh, doing city 18 every day, um, you know, doing our extra, my, I actually got capped out last week. Uh, I was about to hit, I was, I was over 60 and they're like, no, you got to have a nine hour day. So, uh, you know, as long as I got my 60, I'm not going to complain too much. Yeah, well, I would rather have more money, obviously, because I'm be selling and buying a place right now. But uh, if, as long as I get my 60, I know my check's going to be how where I, where I want it to be minimum. So uh, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, City 18, doing extra. We had a snowstorm the other day. Um, and now the weather seems to be getting nicer. It's sunny out today. Got some stuff to do today, and then, uh, you know, it's supposed to be nice during the week. So January and February are the worst months to be a mail carrier, in my opinion. Uh, December, obviously, and December, too, because of peak season. But January, February, the worst winter months. Um, but now we're uh, we're starting to get into the spring mode, which, you know, I'm, I'm happy about. Um, also, an update about my, uh, you know, vision stuff. I went to a premier program location for my glasses. I was able to pick out a pair of frames and fill out all the paperwork, but I had to schedule an appointment for a later date. So I have that scheduled March 14th, I believe. Yeah, so March 14th, I'll be uh, get Cause she, I was talking to the lady working there and she said like, you know, my insurance covers like everything. And she even showed me like these lenses that once they get in like, once they're like the UV rays, uh, it's all foreign to me, all the stuff she was saying, but the U, the UV rays, uh, once they hit the lenses, they, they turn into sunglasses. So, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. And my insurance covers all that and some other, uh, luxuries and the, it gives me like a $200 frame allowance, the VSP insurance. So it's really good insurance. They said this, it, you, you're going to be decked out. Everything's going to be, uh, covered. So uh, I picked out some name brand frames and, you know, I'm just so thankful for that because I'm having, having that type of insurance, not having to worry about, you know, paying a lot of stuff out of pocket, name brand frames and top notch lenses and stuff. So I filled out all my, like my medical questionnaire and stuff. I just got to go there and do the actual eye exam uh, and see the eye doctor when I uh, go to my appointment. But I picked out frames and stuff. I can't wait. I'm super thankful for that. Um, I found a dentist in Indiana, uh, Crown Point, Indiana. Uh, it's kind of a far, it's not a far, far drive, but, uh, you know, it's not down the street, you know what I mean? So, uh, one of the carriers goes there and they, they're open Sundays and they work well with the dent, 
Delta Dental Insurance. So I got an appointment with them um, March 12th. So March 12th and March 14th, I got my vision. And then I still got to look up a doctor. I got to make a doctor's appointment. Got to get blood work done and stuff. Like I said, two years of neglecting this stuff. And now I got the insurance. I really got to get this stuff taken care of before things get worse and... I'm, I'm going to make sure I take care of all this stuff. If I'm insured and stuff, that's, I'm going to take advantage for sure. And I'm building up sick leave. I get four hours of sick leave every two weeks and then plus the annual leave. So I'm going to save that annual leave for when I could. Uh, I was in PTF when they did the vacation picks. But, uh, you know, there's some open vacation spots uh, in the fall. So uh, once I get 40 hours of annual leave, I'm going to start bidding on a vacation week. And hopefully I'll be able to take a paid vacation because the last vacation I had was my break in service and you don't get paid for that. You get annual leave cashed out, but, uh, you know, I want that five, I want that vacation. So, um, yeah, very thankful where life is at, but a lot of stress and, uh, selling my house. I, uh, was selling my house. Uh, I had to go through a lot of like paperwork. Got to tell the association that, you know, moving, um, and with buying a place too, I'm in talks with the uh, lender and, you know, I got pre-approved. I got pre-approved for uh, 200000 uh, and then uh, I, had to, I had to give them my, uh, you know, a full bank statement, uh, my driver's license, my W-2 from 2021 and 2022. Um, and, then, and then Mike, the... More, uh, the lender, he he's going to send it to the underwriter to get an approval from an underwriter approval, which will make my offer look a lot more solid and, uh, you know, look a lot better to sellers. So uh, my dad said it's a seller's market right now and uh, selling my house won't be an issue because, you know, there's a lot more buyers than sellers currently as, as I'm making this video but buying is going to be a little more difficult because there's a lot of buyers. So uh, selling won't be an issue, but buying, you know, hopefully with this underwriter approval, it'll make me look more solid to uh, to sellers. So um, there's a lot since since March 1st, a lot of stuff has been popping up with, um, you know, a lot of properties have been popping up because the weather's getting nicer and stuff. So hopefully I have more of a more of a pool to choose from and hopefully my offer looks better looks good because my my employment history is solid and uh you know my credit's really high so uh yeah super thankful i'm like i said i'm not making videos as much as i have been just because i got a lot of stuff i'm dealing with in my personal life and trying to get things taken care of but no way i'm gonna stop making videos no way this channel is gonna go anywhere so uh you know stay subscribed and you know, I still respond to my DMs and stuff. So if you want to DM me on Instagram, your questions at Nick Venti, you're more than welcome to. Um, I respond to all my DMs. Um, but yeah, gave you guys a quick update on what I'm doing. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day off. And uh, yeah, my dad, he's, he's coming tomorrow. He's going to give an estimate on this place. And uh, I'm hoping to make a decent profit from it. Uh, you know, I know it's not going to be too much. I've only been here two years, but... Getting getting some money back from my investment because if it was renting, well, you get a security deposit back. But uh, you know, if, I'm gonna get the money I put in hopefully, and then plus you know a little bit more because been paying it off. So very thankful getting all this stuff taken care of, my health, dental, vision, and just just taking taking care of this stuff now because two years of neglect, been working, not really much time off. So. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want me to talk about something, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.